I got arrested for hopping a train. Here's the story. I hope you're enjoying the new era of the channel. Stealth camping and outdoor adventures, hopping trains. Not as much fishing as back in the day, but there will still be fishing content. I do promise you that. I have some in the can. I just gotta upload it. So on this channel, if you go back to July of last year, there's a video called My First Train Hop, an original film. I think that's what it's titled. Full movie or an original film or short film or something like that. Hang on, let me check. It's called My First Train Hop, an original film. It just actually cracked 50,000 views, uh, so I'm very, very appreciative for that. It's the best performing video that I've ever personally made. I know 50,000 isn't a lot, but to me that's a lot and I appreciate all of you. So quick backstory, I always wanted to hop a train. I am highly influenced by Stobe the Hobo, not only for train hopping, but just in like my film and editing style, all that. He's just a big inspiration. Go look up Stobe the Hobo, may he rest in peace. Uh, Uncle Canada, of course. Thy Mule, AKA. That's their, uh... Names, I'm still the hobo. You might have to learn how to fish, so. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch one of these bass right now. Because I'm a stud. Long story short, you can go watch the Train Hop movie. It's about an hour and 10 minutes long. If you want the entire full story and picture and details, this video is about the uh, outcome. I got arrested and had to go to court and pay some fines. Quite a long process. The air is clear now. I am free of the court system for the train hop, so I decided why not make a follow-up and talk about it. It was a great time. I really enjoyed myself, really enjoyed editing the video, really enjoyed putting it online. Uh, the reaction's been awesome, like 98% positive reaction, and I would have never expected it to be close to that. So again, thank you all for watching and the kind words. Go check it out. It's live right now. About a month, give or take, after I uploaded the video, mail comes, and I get a certified letter. Open the letter, curious what it is, indicating that I had a warrant out for my arrest for criminal trespassing on railroad property. I believe it's a misdemeanor two or misdemeanor one in Ohio, um, which does carry some stiff penalties. I think it's up to a $5,000 fine and like six months in jail. Obviously there's varying levels and degrees of what criminal trespassing might mean. When I went online and did a public record search in the municipality that sent me the certified letter, uh, this warrant had been issued like three weeks ago. So for like the better part of two, three weeks, I was driving around with a warrant for my arrest out for criminal trespassing, meaning if it would have got pulled over or if any of those cops just run your plate or the, the license plate cameras, um, I could have got pulled over and taken to jail, had my car towed, was kind of freaking out a little bit knowing that, okay, here's some crap I'm gonna have to deal with now. Meanwhile, the video was doing pretty well. I uh, got like 10,000 views within the first like month. Um, so at that point, I was just happy to be getting some traction on it. The railroad was made aware of my video. They were able to look at my video and see some of the car numbers. Um, every railroad car has an identification number. They were able to see the car identification numbers and say, well, those cars were in this location on this day. Here he is frolicking on the train down to Akron, and obviously he's on this string of cars. So they knew exactly when and where I came from and went to. There's a lot of train hoppers on YouTube. They show their faces, say relatively where they are. Uh, they see what railroad they're riding, if it's a CSX locomotive, or if they're on a, if they're on a Procore Grainer car. I mean, there's a hundred different ways to identify all of these YouTubers. Um, I was more worried about, I was concerned with getting busted while riding the train or getting on or off. I didn't think that I would be getting certified mail a few weeks later. I know how it happened too. I'm a, I'm a, a foamer, someone who really likes trains. I go off, occasionally I'll film trains and take photos. Uh, I have a model railroad. I like trains. I'm in several railroad groups on Facebook and Reddit. Um, I'm also in the Stope the Hobo memory group and the Reddit Vagabond. There's, there's all kinds of communities online for this kind of crap. So I posted my video on some of these uh, different outlets and um, and there were definitely some people, mainly like old timers, that were really not pleased with 
the fact that I did this, and even more upset that I decided to post the video. Like, how dare I... Several of them said they were gonna report me, so I guess out of sight, out of mind, they had said it initially, and then, you know, you don't hear anything for a few weeks. Some angry old people on Facebook said, this is wrong, you're not even supposed to walk on the railroad tracks, blah, blah, blah. I had to go down to Akron Municipal Court. It's about an hour drive each way. I had to go down there, turn myself in, post a bond, do all the paperwork, um, you know, do the whole run through and whatnot. Um, so I was, I was booked for riding on a train. Um, I, I pled not guilty. My lawyer basically said, which is true, that I'm a photographer and a filmmaker and I was making a film and got on the train to take some footage, which I did, and that, you know, the train started moving and I couldn't get off, which is true. So all in all, I had to go down to court, kept getting pushed back and continued, and they kept wanting to see the video for evidence. The judge, I'm not lying to you when I say that the judge actually watched the video and said it was very well put together. So circumstantially, that is a compliment. Honestly, the biggest pain of all of it was having to drive from Cleveland to Akron five different times, I believe, including when I had to go turn myself in. So having to miss work, um, be stuck down there for four or five hours at a time, pretty much just to be told I have to come back again. Uh, it also means every time you show up for court, that's more court costs. So when it was all said and done, it's finally all done, wrapped up over with now. So I felt comfortable talking about it. All in all, all said and done, it was like just over $400 in fines. And I got like a no-show probation for one year, meaning I just have to pay for the probation as well. And that was like another 160. So I don't know how they get you with all these fees and fines, but all in all, like end of the day, it cost me about $500 rock salad. Would I do it again? Yes. Um, it was definitely worth it. I like making films and videos, um, including this one. I know it's not gonna be the most exciting video I've ever made, but I hope you enjoy the backstory to it. I hopped a train and rode it. It's dangerous, it's stupid, but you know, is that worth a $500 fine? No, obviously they're trying to deter people from riding on them. I'm actually planning a cross country train hop. Um, I know in that video, in the movie, I said I only wanted to do it one time and document it, and I did, but my route was only about 50 miles. That was intentional, I just wanted to do a day trip. I wanna do one more. Um, I did a short trip, I wanna do a long trip. I wanna go as far west as humanly possible. Um, Denver, if not Oakland or Seattle, as far west as possible, as far west as I could humanly go before I throw in the towel or get pulled off the train or uh, go as far west as the rails will take me. YOLO, you only live once. I want to do one more. I want to do a big trip. Doing it for the day, I mean, you know, three hours and change, it just didn't cut it for me. I, I need to do a trip. Well, I hope you go watch the movie. I think it's pretty good, well put together. It has a nice flow to it. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy my stories. Um, stay tuned for stealth camps, outdoor missions, fishing, train hopping. I have a couple documentaries I'm actually about to start working on as well. All kinds of content coming. Yeah, let me know what you think. I know a lot of you think I'm an idiot. A lot of you think, why does this guy do what he does? I just live, I work, I have a house, I pay my bills, I'm not a nutcase. I'm not a trust fund baby. I just live my life. I work hard, I play hard, and I like to document it. So cheers to all of you, and I hope you enjoy. Go watch that movie right now. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, well, I'm on. I'm in the porch. Right, here we go. Oh.
happening. RIP Stowe. Shout out to Wingman out there, ran out on a rail, great game. Shout out to Shoestring. It's not glamorous, I'll tell you. I'm dirty, I'm sore, I'm sweating my... <laughs> it's loud, it's violent. 